Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Vince Dunlap here, aka Real Estate Vince. And if you're coming back to my page, I want to say welcome back. And if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, I just want to say welcome to the page. Hope you enjoy. Now, as real estate agents, there's a lot of things that we like to do uh, to try and set ourselves apart from the uh, competition, the competition being other real estate agents. But when it comes to the life of being a real estate agent, there are some things that we should just not do, okay? So what I wanna do today is I wanna take a few minutes to give you four things that real estate agents should never do. It's one for all the One thing that a real estate agent should never do is advise against getting a survey, all right? I'm gonna say that again. Your real estate agent should never advise against getting a survey. Now, there are a few exceptions, all right? If you're getting a new construction, basically if you're getting your house built, you don't need to order a survey. The survey is gonna come automatically. Uh, the builder will do the survey to verify the lot dimensions. Uh, they'll give it to you, be good to go. If you're getting a townhome, AKA a row house, uh, you most likely will not need to get a survey because your home would probably come with an HOA and whatever piece of land that you do have will probably be uh, taken care of or maintained by the same HOA unless it's fenced in. And if it's fenced in, obviously you don't need a survey, okay? However, if you're buying a single family residence, a standalone house that's already been constructed and you have to question whether or not you should get a survey, the answer from your real estate agent should always be yes. And the reason for that is, uh, for those of you who don't know what a survey is, a survey tells you what your left and right limits are as far as your yard, okay? So your, a survey will tell you whether or not your property is on your neighbor's property and whether or not your neighbor's property is on your property. Because the last thing you want to happen is to buy a home, you go in that home and you're celebrating becoming the homeowner, and then your neighbor knocks on your door and say, hey, Five feet of your driveway is on my property. You have to get it off of my property. And by law, you have got to get that driveway off of his or her property. Getting a survey will eliminate that, okay? So if you ever have to question whether or not you need to get a survey, the answer from that real estate agent should always be yes. The second thing that a realtor should never do, and again, this is my personal opinion, is advise you get a credit card. For the simple fact that we are not credit repair specialists, we're not loan officers, we're not financial advisors, we are real estate agents, okay? Now, some of you may have some issues with your credit and you may need to be coming up with ways uh, to improve your credit so that you can go and buy a home, but if you have credit issues, ask yourself, why would you go and get extra debt? Why would you add debt to the already existing debt that you do have? Okay, now some of you may want to go get a credit card and just let it sit there and just pay the annual APR, which is which is okay, all right? But let a loan officer or someone who specializes in finance tell you that, okay? Real estate agent can advise that as a possibility, but me personally, I don't think a real estate agent should be telling potential clients, hey, go get a new credit card so that your DTI can improve and then you can possibly buy this home. The third thing that I think real estate agents should not be out here doing is painting this picture that everything would be perfect during the home buying or the home selling process, okay? Um, a lot of us have a tendency to do that unintentionally and it hurts you as the buyer or the seller because you think everything's gonna go smooth, there'll be no hiccups, and then once you get that first hiccup, it's like, okay, cool, things happen. But then you might find yourself in one of those uh, situations to where you guys are just having problem after problem after problem. And now you're looking at the real estate agent like, hey, what's going on here? I thought this was supposed to be a smooth transaction, okay? Now, there's nothing wrong with the real estate agent saying, hey, in a perfect world, if everything goes as according to plan, 
this is what will happen. And that's what I do with my clients. But be sure to let them know that things possibly can happen, okay? And realtors, if you're watching this, be prepared to answer that question because a couple of times I've told my clients, it's like, hey, there may be some hiccups that may cause us to delay closing or we may have to request that due diligence get extended. And then, you know, my client be like, well, like what? What can happen? So be ready, be prepared to answer that question, all right? The last thing on my list that I feel like real estate agents should not be doing is telling you to sign papers without explaining the paperwork that you are signing. It boggles my mind how many times that I have gotten a new client and I've gone over the paperwork with them before, before we started looking for homes or before we listed their home on the market. And the client will come back and say, wow, Vince, I really appreciate you taking the time to go over the paperwork. No one has ever done this before. And I'm like, wait, what, what do you mean? And they'll tell me nobody has taken the time to explain the buyer agency agreement or the exclusive listing agreement or any of the other paper or even the process. And I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a veteran and I'm very uh, skeptical when it comes to signing paperwork. So I treat my clients the same way. I was like, well, hey, let me explain this to you before you sign it. But I've had so many clients tell me that they've signed so much paperwork and previous agents did not explain it with them. Y'all stop signing this paperwork without going over it because during the process, when there's an issue that comes up, if you've gone over that buyer agency agreement, if you've gone over that listing agreement, if you've gone over the offer, whether you're on the listing or the buyer side, there's a lot of problems that you may have. There's a lot of questions that you may have that would be answered if you just would have gone over that paper, okay? So be sure you guys are keeping your, you're, you're holding your agents to the standard and making sure that they're going over all pertinent information and all pertinent paperwork, all right? All right, so that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. This one for all of